are so excited to finally be taking our first trip here in Taiwan and we're especially excited to be here on the Penghu Islands. We're actually here to visit my grandma but we'll sure be hitting all the sites as well. We dropped off our luggage at our hotel so we're ready to explore and check out some amazing sites and eat some delicious food. Ooh, I can't wait! Let's go! We are starting our day here at the oldest Mazu temple in, I believe, all of Taiwan, actually. Mazu is actually an ancient sea goddess that protects people who work on the sea, live by the sea, or have anything to do with the ocean. Well, that's very important for the people here in Penghu, since it is a collection of a bunch of small islands, and you're basically surrounded by the sea at all times. So, pretty cool temple, we're excited to explore it. So this temple actually dates back to 1604, so it's very, very old, but it's super well kept and it's really beautiful. That temple was a great way to start our day here in Penghu, and now we are heading over to this really old historic street. It's supposed to be really beautiful as well. I think we're heading in the right direction because there is a giant crowd that's also going this way. We have just made it to Magong Old Street and this is seriously so, so beautiful. It has this really cool vibe, which is like a mix of like different cultures. It's got like the Chinese influence, the Japanese influence, and obviously the traditional Taiwanese influence. It's just really pretty. So that was a great start to our day, but now it's time to head to Sandy's grandma's house to get some lunch. And the way we're gonna get there is by Scooter, that's right. This is the best way to get around here in Penghu. And thankfully, we were able to borrow a scooter from Sandy's family while we're here. So this is gonna be our trusty steed for the next two days. Who says trusty steeds these days? You're so annoying. I say trusty yeah. steed. Trusty steed is cool, okay. <laughs> After a very nice lunch with Sandy's family, we're ready to go and explore some more. And we're heading to Lingto Park. And I changed into shorts, so this should be much nicer. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Because we're gonna go to Lingto Park and then Lingto Beach, I believe, as well. So, should be good. We have made it to Lingto Park, I think. I think we're at the parking lot and then we gotta walk into the actual park. Let's go! I found a super tall flower. <laughs> oh, what is that? So funny. Here's the plant, and then just two giant flowers. April is definitely a really nice time to come to Penghu because it's not super busy yet because the, the main tourist season hasn't started, but the weather is amazing. Yeah, it's not too hot and not too cold. Mm -hmm. Time for a coffee break. My hair looks funny. This is the only bad thing about wearing, you know, riding scooters. You gotta wear a helmet and your hair gets all weird. It's coffee time. There you go. Thank you. Now to find a seat. And it looks like this connects straight to the beach. I don't think I could ask for a better view for while I'm enjoying this delicious coffee. Hmm, this is really good. Gilly Primavera, it's called. Shall we walk along the beach? Mm -hmm. Let's go. I didn't. I didn't bring my flip flops. You're lost, you gotta wear your shoes. I'll just go barefoot, it's fine. Hey, you're drinking all my coffee? It's crazy how big this beach is and there's like very few people here. This beach is super, super nice and there's like a bunch of different activities you can do. You can rent sea dues. they've got like banana boats and I believe if you go 
down that direction, there's another beach that's connects to, and that one has like a water park apparently. So yeah, definitely come to like Linto Park and Linto Beach. It's really cool. We're gonna head back towards the park, walk through there a little bit more, and then hop back on our scooter. I'm dead back onto the bike. Mm -hmm. We're going to Du Xin Shu Village. Du Xin Shu Village. <laughs> So what's really cool is all the buildings used to basically be military housing, but now they're used for like all sorts of different things, including this one right here, which is a candy shop. Yeah. It's kind of like a retro candy shop. You can buy some candy. You look like you're at school. <laughs> Who's out here with my candy smoke? <laughs> <laughs> Don't smoke kids, it's bad for you. Just eat candy. Just eat candy instead. Mmm, oh, juice. Cheers. Cheers. This place is super cool. There's a bunch of little knickknack shops as well as places to grab like snacks and drinks. I think like I saw a cafe, a bubble tea place. We got this free fruit juice drink for like a little sample, which is really nice. And yeah, I would definitely recommend coming here if you're ever in Penghu, the Duxing Cultural Village. I think that's what it's called, maybe. <laughs> So we found a place to grab shaved ice, and this place is really popular, had a really high rating on Google Maps, I think it was like 4.9, and you can customize your shaved ice, which is really cool. I don't know what any of them are because uh, they're all in Chinese. You gotta Google Translate. So, or Sandy Translate in my case. Yeah. So we just got our shaved ice and it looks so, so good. And he even gave us a little extra free little treat. These two little cute turtles. They look so, they look so cool. I love the presentation, it's mm -hmm. so pretty. Yeah, like the way they just put everything on the plate looks really nice. So this ice cream on top is cactus ice cream. Cactus is very popular here in Feng Hu. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of ice cream, some beans, just a little bit of everything. That's really good. The thing with shaved ice is that it's like such a simple dish. It's basically just like literally shaved ice. And then there's like a syrup or something on the top and then maybe some jams or some other like uh, sweet dishes on the side, like sweet beans. Mm -hmm. But it's just you put it all together and it's so good. Now we're just gonna wander around uh, the town of Magong, which is like the biggest city Basically the only real city on the Pangu Islands. So we're just gonna wander around and burn off these calories that we just ate so that we can eat a bunch more at dinner. We're really excited because we heard this place is really good. So the place is basically self-service. You get to choose what you want to eat. You just grab a bunch of food from the fridge and you just, yeah, basically choose whatever you want to eat. So we have a bunch of vegetables as well as a bunch of different skewers. We are so excited for this. It looks so good. Oysters are finished cooking, but now comes the hard part, waiting for them to cool down before we can actually eat them. It's so fresh. Not fishy at all. Really good. You're far away, and yet so close. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. You're up in space. Awesome dinner with my mom, and now 
we're heading to our next destination. And this is one that you're not going to want to miss. Thanks all the places. We have made it to our final destination of the day. We're here at the Guanyin Team Recreational Park. And the coolest thing at this park is what's just right in front of me. Check this out. Yes, that's right. That is a real rainbow bridge and it looks so cool. And I wish we could just Mario Kart over it right now, but I don't think that's allowed. No, but I think during the day you can actually walk onto the bridge and walk mm -hmm. over it. But no Mario Kart. No. But anyways, guys, this was such an amazing way to end our first day here in Pangu. And we can't wait to show you more tomorrow. If you like our video, please like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below for more content. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.